Today was pretty great. Today was our, our first day on the road where we went into schools and uh, we did really good. We got into two schools. We were in a, the school in uh, Blenheim, I believe it's called, Ontario, and we got to speak to the grade sevens and eights. And what a reception, absolutely fantastic. There was a, a good, uh, good part of them knew about Lyme disease. They asked some fantastic questions. Uh, it was really a positive, positive experience. Because everybody knows about it, it's part of our life, and we live with it. You don't have to be afraid of it, you don't have to fear it. If you understand what you have, you can be treated for it. And that's the message, and that's the message that I'm trying to bring to Ontario and, and, and bring to guys like you, so you, uh, so you can uh, take care of yourselves and take care of your families. Okay? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. For you, for you, for you listening to me for five um, When we were leaving, uh, one of the teachers actually pulled me aside and asked me if I would speak to him outside. And uh, I went out, and it, as it turns out, his uh, his daughter has Lyme disease. Um, unbeknownst to me, he actually, I guess, prior to me speaking with him, he had called his daughter and asked her to come over. She's 19 years old, and uh, we. Uh, we had a really good talk with her, and uh, I learned things that uh, further prove that I'm not alone. Um, as we inter interviewed her, she started bringing up new topics and new topics and new topics, and she basically conveyed back to me all the things that I've been through with Lyme disease, and to seeing the uh, the type of um, issues that she's dealing with and the problems that they've had with with the healthcare system, and being told that she's crazy and not being helped being told that it's all in her head and it's uh, it's very sad. It was very moving and uh, it's really important message to get out there that this is going on everywhere in this province. It's not an isolated thing and uh, more needs to be done. Like I was at college like four months ago and I my legs locked up and I fell down the stairs and I crawled myself into the doc like the nurse's office and she goes, oh you're okay. You'll be fine by tomorrow. Like literally this like Brought yeah. to every single doctor, even the specialists I just went to for celiac, and yeah. they, they're like, oh, that doesn't matter. We it, don't need to read that. It's irrelevant. My mom goes, it's everything that's happened for the past six years of her life. Yeah. Like, date, time, like, what exactly happened, where it exactly happened, what we think it could be, like, And they won't even acknowledge it. Yeah. How care. many doctors have you been to? Twelve. Twelve. I miss childhood because yeah. <laughs> I used to be so like athlete I played travel basketball travel volleyball and then now I can't do anything I can't still now I yeah. just can't do anything um, we then came down to uh, Wheatley Ontario which is just west of um, I'm sorry just east of Leamington and uh, Point Pelee National Park we were in the school and I just talked to a, another great group of kids and uh, probably almost half of them, over a third, maybe 40% of the kids put up their hand and they, they basically had heard about Lyme and understood what Lyme was and uh, it was really good talking to them, uh, you know, explaining to them what I've been through and explaining to them that uh, the importance that if it's caught early and we deal with this disease early, that this disease is very treatable and very curable and uh, you know you'll be sick for a while but you'll get, get your life back and the alternative is that if you don't and this uh, disease get, goes chronic that you'll be uh, you'll have to go through the, side, this, the type of life that I've had to go through for, a, for a, a ridiculous period of time. It was a really good day. I'm tired but it was a really good day. I uh, I couldn't I don't think I could be moved more by what uh, uh, what we did today. Okay, we'll see you guys. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, can you make sure they get all the stuff the, for the teachers and all? Okay. Yeah. And all the stuff. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah.